What is going on, everybody? My name is Jared Allison with JDA Florida Homes, and I'm a real estate agent with Century 21 Alton Clark here in the state of Florida. In this month's housing market report, there's some really interesting things that have happened. Uh, make sure you stick around. I've got a lot of good things to talk about, so stay tuned. Welcome back. And now before we get into the actual housing market stats, I wanted to talk about interest rates and I've got that up here on your screen. 30 year fixed rate mortgage is 4.67%. 15 year fixed rate mortgage is 3.83 and the five one year arm is three and a half percent. Take a look at that graph down below. Over the past couple of months, we have seen a steady increase of mortgage rates. Now let's take a look at lumber future prices. And I don't know if you remember last year back in May is when we saw it peak out at $1,670 before we saw a decrease in the price all the way down into the mid 400s, about $456 is where it bottomed out before it started to incline or increase again. And we saw prices as high as $1,330. Right now, as today's close of the market, we sit at $960. Now let's jump into the actual housing market report and we're going to start off with the state of Florida and new listings is up 1%. Not a lot of change there. Active inventory down 24%. Uh, we've been seeing that time and time again, and that corresponds with the graph that is below showing new listings and active inventory. Time to contract is down from 21 days to 12 days on a year-over-year -year basis. Median sales price up 21% from $315,000 to $381,000. Uh, month supply of inventory is down 31%, still sitting at just under a month. I believe last month we were sitting right at a month or maybe 1.1. I'd have to go back and look. I'll put a link in the screen if you want to go back and watch that. Under more stats is closed sales. We had 23,661 closed sales for the entire state of Florida. Cash sales were 8,007, which equates to 34% of those were cash sales. And again, the new listings and active inventory on the side there, you can see the graph where we have new listings that did show a little bit of an uptick over the past couple of months, but the active inventory is still in a steady decline. Next up is Volusia County, and this is for February, a year-over-year -year comparison from 2021 to 2022. New listings are up actually 8% from 912, and we have 989 new listings for the month of February. Active inventory is down 18% from 1,035 to 854. Time to contract from 18 days down to 12 days. That is a 33% decrease. Median sales price up again. 23% from 261 to $320,000. Month supply of inventory down again, 25% from 1.2 months supply down to just 0.9 months. More stats down below. Closed sales, 845 closed sales for Volusia County. Cash sales were 263, which equates to 31%. And you can see the new listings and active inventory showing the same trends that we've been seeing over the past couple of months with new listings on an uptick and active inventory still on the decline. So next up is Seminole County. And you can see again, we are in the green for new listings up 2% from 458 to 469. Not a big change there, but nonetheless, we are in the green on new listings. Active inventory is still in the red at 31%. And 443, we're at 317 for February 2022. Time to contract down 25% from 12 days to just nine days on the market. Median sales prices up 13%, not as high as some of the other counties that we've been looking at. However, it is been or it has been a steady increase on median sales price. Month supply of inventory down 25% from 0.8 to just 0.6, almost 17 days of homes available for sale, 17 days worth. More stats down below, closed sales, 413, cash sales, 118, which equates to 29%. Next up is Orange County. New listings are down 3%. Active inventory is also down 29% from 1391, and they broke the 1,000 mark down to 979 active listings for sale in the entire county uh, for Orange County. 
Time to contract is down 41% from 17 days down to 10 days. Median sales price up 19% as we've been seeing in all the other counties from 350 to $415,000. Month supply of inventory is down 40% from one month supply down to 0.6 months supply of inventory. For Orange County, we had 1,104 closed sales. Of those, 356 were cash sales, which equates to 32%. Take a look at the graph on the left where you can see active inventory is actually steadied off just a little bit where new listings is still on an incline over the past couple of months. Now let's take a look at Lake County. So new listings is also in the green for Lake County being up 6% from 641 to 682 new listings for Lake County. Active inventory is down 14%. Time to contract is down 48% from 21 days on the market to just 11 days on the market compared to this time last year. Median sales price, up 32% from 269 to $356,000. Month supply of inventory is down 20% from one month supply down to just 0.8 month supply of inventory. Under more stats here on the right side, 589 closed sales for Lake County. Of those, 188 were cash sales, which equates to 32%. We have been seeing a pretty steady incline of cash sales throughout all the counties for the entire state of Florida. Again, the graph on the left is showing new listings with a little bit of an uptick, and then it sort of stayed, it steadied off for the last month. Active inventory has still been on the decline. Now we have Brevard County. New listings are down 1%. Active inventory is also down 19% from 984 to 794. Time to contract is also down from 18 days to just eight days. That's a 56% decrease. Median sales prices up 19% from 275 to 328 thousand dollars month supply of inventory again down 27 percent from 1.1 to just 0.8 months supply more stats down below closed sales 859 cash sales 259 that equates to about 30 percent cash sales for the entire county the graph on the left is showing new listings and active inventory it looks like they steadied off just a little bit from January to February. All right, next up is Osceola County and take a look at this. New listings are up 23% for the county. 585 is what it was in 2021 and 722 is what it is for 2022 February. Active inventory is down 37% from 753 to 476. Time to contract down 63% from 24 days down to just nine days. And look at this median sales prices up 8, 28% from 309 to 397, almost hitting that $400,000 mark. Month supply of inventory is down 57% from 1.8 to just 0.8 months supply. Down there, let's take a look at closed sales. We had 677 closed sales for Osceola County. Of those, 216 were cash sales, which equates to 32%. Take a look at the graph on the left-hand side. Active inventory has been showing a steady decline over the past several months where new listings has sort of leveled off from December through February. So now take a look at Polk County and really pay attention to the new listings here. Up 24% from 1,093 to 1,360 new listings for February of 2022. That is pretty significant of new listings. We haven't seen a number that high yet in the past couple of years. Active inventory is only down 8%, which is not a lot. Most of them have been in the teens or the 20s of active inventory. This one is only down 8%. Time to contract is down 55% from 20 days to just nine days. Median sales price is up 33% from 245 and then breaking the $300,000 mark to $325,000. Month supply of inventory is down 18% from 1.1 to just 0.9 months supply. More stats down below. Closed sales, 1,129. Of those, 339 were cash sales, which equates to 
percent now take a look at the graph below active inventory we do see a little bit of a level off as we showed in the stats above new listing is on the rise as you saw it is up 24 percent well that concludes this month's housing market report for the month of february we saw some interesting things that are happening some trends that are starting to go the other way and i want to say if you liked this video and you found it informative go ahead and hit that like button down below it does help me out and then if you did really like this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button because that helps me grow my channel also if you want to be notified when i post more housing market reports make sure you hit that alert bell then that way you get a notification but until the next housing market report happy real estate